I was given half a dozen tools last week. They're a tip tool, braised on tip tool. Uh, these are an inch high and I need about 0.6 of an inch. So I'm going to take 350 thou off the, the bottom of them. Uh, put, or take some off the bottom, put it in the lathe and see what they like. Uh, the lad reckons are a really good sharp tool. They put a good finish on, they've got a nice radius on the end. Anyway, for nothing, you can't go wrong. Put the parallel in the vise first. Three sixty, so I can get three fifty off that. It seems to be. The tool seems to be nice and parallel, so it's going to get quite a good hold in the vise. A little nip on it. I've got a tow fruit end mill in here. I'll give it a try when it's nice and slow, and I think I'll probably end up putting cotton water on as well. Like I'll change this and put a carbide cutter in and run it a lot faster. That's a solid carbide cutter. It's not the best in the world it is marked, but it's still it should still cut quite reasonably. I'll try it on the same speed in the same depth of cut. That's definitely better. I'll put the water on because I've got quite a few of these to do. I'm going to speed it up one here. Actually putting an amazingly good finish on there. Basically all I do is get some metal off it. Bastard. That's quite reasonable, I just run the do you rag them too wrong there? Put it in the lathe and see if they're going to be any good or not. Taking just enough off to get the tool in. Even as thick as possible to keep the maximum amount of strength in it. Right, we'll put it in the lathe tool post, set it on 7 to 8 and give it a try. There's a few different ways of setting up the tool centre height, so you can see that one's way too high. The way I do them normally is I get them 
just sit to a centre and then just take a face and cut across the end of a piece of bar and that gets them absolutely spot on still high that looks pretty good at that we'll tighten it up and give it a, a try and see what happens it's a piece of metal steel bar here metal steel is often hard to get a finish on because it tends to be stretchy and like chewy, like rubbery, it's, you can get a, a better finish on hard steel than you can metal steel. Yeah. Try and get rid of a little bit of trouble, I'm not in the jug. Pretty good on centre height there because it's let it slip through a pit. Bastard. That's cutting that very nicely. Run things a bit faster. See what sort of finish we can get on it. We still got quite a fast fuse yet on. That's not a bad finish at all.
Once again, it just remains to say thanks very much for subscribing, for watching my channel, for clicking the like button, and as always, a massive thanks to all the well wishers that have come in towards me, wife Deb and me dad, and are still coming in. Thanks very much indeed.